Hello, and welcome to another rip-roaring fun episode of The Fat Vegan Chef. Before I begin, I want to say first of all that all of my videos are uploaded only to my YouTube channel, Fat Vegan Chef. If you see any of my videos uploaded to any other channel, please contact me immediately on YouTube or at thefatveganchef.com. I do have an easy form that you can fill out at thefatveganchef.com, so please let me know. And to make sure that you are watching videos only from my YouTube channel, please subscribe to me now. Thank you. Today we're going to make a taco casserole. It is something that can be made ahead of time, which makes it easy if dinner time is hectic in your house. The recipe can be easily modified to fit your ingredients. Um, you can use this as a base, or you can follow the recipe directly. It's completely up to you. So let's get this party started, shall we? The tools that you will need to make this dish are various measuring cups and measuring spoons, uh, some pots and pans, a cutting board with a wet towel underneath, a knife, a ladle, various bowls, and you'll also need an 8x8 baking dish. This can be either glass or metal. For the taco meat, what you will need are one cup of either TVP or fake ground beef crumbles, a cup and a half of boiling water, two tablespoons of soy sauce, one teaspoon of toasted sesame seed oil, one tablespoon of olive oil, one package of taco sauce seasoning mix, one package of firm or extra firm tofu that's not been frozen and you want to drain it and then crumble it. You'll need half an ounce eat a total of porcini and or shiitake mushrooms um, that's been dried and you want to dice it up fine. You'll also need fine dice of two ounces total of shiitake and or porcini mushrooms. You'll need a teaspoon of garlic that's been minced, four ounces of tomato paste, and if you want to, you can add in chilies of your choice. I am using a tablespoon of ahi amarillo paste. For the casserole itself, what we will need is the taco meat mixture from before. You also need a can of black beans, a can of refried beans, some black olives, some vegan cheddar cheese, one to two cans of taco sauce, and a package of pre-done flat corn taco shells. And the black beans, the refried beans, I did do these up a little bit. If you want to use it straight out of the can, you can. If you want to use the recipes that I used for this, those recipes will be at thefatveganchef.com. All right, let's go ahead and make the ground beef. First thing you want to do is put in your fake beef crumbles or TVP in a bowl. Add the dried porcinis, the dried shiitakes, the sesame seed oil, And if you have the paste, add your chilies. Now if you want to, again this is an optional. And then go ahead and mix this all up. And then once this is mixed up, what we'll do is add the boiling water and we'll let this sit and rehydrate. And once this should take about five or ten minutes to rehydrate, and once it does, 
then uh, we'll continue to make the taco meat. One thing that I forgot to do when making the taco meat was adding the soy sauce. You want to add that when you're adding your boiling water. I have since added that and that is part of that equation. And the beef crumbles or the TVP is now ready. So let's go ahead and uh, continue making the taco meat. First thing you want to do is heat up your pan to about medium high to high. Then add your olive oil. Once your olive oil is hot, you want to go ahead and add your um, your tofu. We're going to let this cook until the tofu starts to turn brown. Okay, you see it's starting to come along. It's getting pretty close now. Let this cook just a couple more minutes and I think we'll be ready. Okay, I think we're ready to add the rest of our ingredients. We're going to add the garlic. And the mushrooms. These are the fresh ones. We're going to let that cook for another couple minutes. Okay, I can start to smell the garlic and the mushroom shine. So now it's time to add our tomato paste. And we want to cook the tomato paste until it starts to turn to brown. We want to kind of caramelize the tomatoes and let the flavor of the tomatoes come through. Okay, I can start to really smell the tomato paste now, and it looks like it is turning nice and brown for us. It's time to add the remaining ingredients, which are the TVP or the soy crumbles from before. and our taco seasoning packet. And we want to mix this. Cook this until most of the liquid is cooked away from the uh, water and the soy sauce. Try to get the stuff from the bottom off. So that's nice good flavor there. Okay, this looks like it's ready. Let's go ahead and assemble our casserole, shall we? Now that we have our taco meat cooked, let's go ahead and make our casserole. First thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And while that's preheating, we'll go ahead and make this. First thing you want to do is add a small layer of the taco sauce on the bottom. And what this will do is prevent everything from sticking to the bottom of the pan. And this also holds true when making lasagnas or any other kind of casserole. You want to put a little bit of liquid on the bottom. And then go ahead and add a layer <clears throat> of your corn chips.
and then just start making small layers of everything. Alright, now for the final layer, you want to end it with sauce. and put some cheese on top just like that what we're going to do is cover this with foil and we're going to put it in the oven okay now that we have this covered with foil, we're going to put it in a 355 degree oven and we're going to let it bake for at least 30 minutes. After the 30 minutes are up, we're going to check the temperature of the casserole and we're going to continue to bake it until it's 165 in the middle. And then once it's baked, we're going to let it cool for 20 to 30 minutes or you can let it cool overnight and uh, that way everything has time to settle. Otherwise it will be runny and mushy. There's the buzzer. Let's go ahead and check to see if it's ready yet. It's looking good. Okay, not quite ready. We'll let it cook in the oven a little bit longer. Okay, there's our timer. Let's go ahead and pull this out of the oven and see if it's ready yet. Check our temperature. And it looks like it's ready, so let's go ahead and let this cool. Alright, I've let my taco casserole cool down. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And I'm going to cut it in nine pieces. It's going to be three by three. Cut it around the edges as well. That way it's easier to scoop out. Go ahead and scoop one of these out, shall we? All 
right. Just like that. And you can garnish this however you want to. I'm going to garnish it with a little bit of guacamole, some diced tomatoes, and it's falling. Some shredded lettuce, some cheese, and some cilantro. I hope you enjoyed this easy taco casserole recipe. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Fat Vegan Chef, to be informed of new videos. Please like and share our videos with your friends and family to help us grow. This recipe and more can be found at our website, thefatveganchef.com. If you made this recipe, please let us know in the comments. Excuse me while I dig in. Goodbye.